What's good, family? My name is Jimmy Scott Jr. And I just want to give y'all my two cents about what it truly means to be grateful. You know, today is a good day. A lot of these days have been good days, but it's all about how you make the day, even when things don't seem to start going your way. So, my side today on a Sunday, sitting down smoking a cigar, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my life and all the things that have been going well and the things that didn't go so well that turned into lessons for me. I am grateful. And so I want to talk to y'all today about being grateful and why you should be grateful and you should live in that gratefulness. You should be living in that grace. It's important because it gives you a more positive outlook on life so that you can start walking around in life positive, joyful, hopeful, optimistic. You know, it's a lot of people today, they have lost optimism. They're not optimistic anymore. They're not hopeful anymore. They have no hope that things will start and continue to go well or start to go well. And it makes me feel for people who don't have gratitude in their lives because a lot of times the reason why they don't have hope is because they don't have gratitude. They're not grateful for what they have. So they can't see themselves having more because their mind is on more versus what they have. So I want to talk to you about being grateful, man, and what that looks like. What does grateful look like? Grateful looks like appreciating life, appreciating breath, appreciating a nice cigar, appreciating food, conversation, appreciating kindness, people being kind to you or you being kind to people Gratefulness looks like a opportunity that came your way that you had been waiting for. Gratefulness looks like small wins, not always big wins. I know a lot of times we think that big wins is what constitutes for us to be grateful or I'm grateful that I bought a house or I'm grateful that I bought a car or I'm grateful that you know all these big wins but a lot of times gratefulness also comes into the form of small wins um, I'm grateful that my car started I'm grateful for the Sun even though it's hot I'm so grateful to have the Sun Sun providing vitamins and nutrients for my skin I'm grateful you know, that my door opened because your door could, could have stopped opening, you know? It's the small wins that lead up and accumulate throughout your day or throughout, you know, your, 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 your morning, evening, night, things like that, that you ought to be grateful for. You ought to appreciate the small things, man, because a lot of times it's those small things that really shape your life. It's not always the big things that shape you, but it's the small things that also shape you because it's the small things that teach you the life lessons. You don't always just learn life lessons after a big event that happened in your life. You learn from the small things. You learn from the small victories. If you're married, you learn from the wins in communication right? You learn from the wins and agreeing to disagree. You learn from the wins and being able to compromise. Wins, small things, problems. You have a problem, you talk about the problem, you resolve the problem, you come to a resolution, you communicate well and you understand each other, whether it's a relationship or marriage. Those are small, but those are wins. And those are the things bit by bit that will shape your life. 
not always the big things. I know a lot of times we, we feel that we only need to be grateful when things happen that are huge in our life. But gratefulness doesn't always come in that form. So I wanted to just open your eyes up to another way of looking at being grateful and what it means to be grateful. And a lot of times it starts here in the mind. This is where it starts. It starts in the mind. It starts by speaking life into yourself. It starts from the very moment you wake up in the morning that you begin to speak life. You begin to speak hope. You begin to speak affirmations of positiveness in your life. How often do you walk around and speak positive affirmations into yourself? That you are good. That you are great. That you do know how to communicate. That you do know how to do X, Y, and Z. That you are this type of person. Even though you may not be. How often do you speak the affirmations of who you are and who you want to be? Because I guarantee you when you begin to look at who you are, and if you are not the person that you want to be, you will then see the gratefulness and have appreciation and gratitude from who you used to be to who you are now. And that will prompt you to move towards who you want to be. See, we never need to lose sight that we aren't who we used to be. But we also need to not be stagnant in who we are now to keep us from who we can be. I'm grateful for who I am. I'm grateful that I've come through what I've come through. But I'm not going to stop where I am because I want to continue to grow. Don't feel bad if you don't have it all figured out because most of us don't. There's a lot of folks that don't have it figured out and that's a good thing because if you had it all figured out, you would just stop. You wouldn't be grateful anymore if you had it all figured out. If you had it all figured out, you would stop. You wouldn't continue to improve yourself. You wouldn't continue self-development. You wouldn't continue to do a lot of things if you had it all figured out so it's good that you don't have it all figured out it's good that there are times where you may not be grateful so that you can grow into what it means to be a person that is appreciative that is kind that is humble gentle and grateful to be who you are to have what you have to do what you do so that you may continue to grow. Just out here reflecting, man. On Sunday. I'm grateful for you. Tuning in. Watching the channel. Listening to what I have to say. I am grateful for. The message. That God has given me to share with you. In hopes that this will help you. And I'm grateful for this time. You see how I'm starting to begin to speak the positiveness of my situation, the positiveness of my moments. This is what gratefulness looks like. Acknowledging the good. I'm not saying that there isn't bad, but I'm focusing to acknowledge the good. Just because there's bad don't mean I always got to talk about it. Don't mean I always got to focus on it. Don't mean that the bad has to take root and control over my thoughts and actions and emotions of my life. The good can. Is the glass half empty or is the glass half full with you? Which way is the glass? Is your glass half full with water or is it half empty? I know for me, my glass is always half full. 
that's always how I look at the glass because no matter what, there's always another opportunity to get better. There's always another opportunity to grow from your mistakes. There's always another chance because God gave us a chance. God gave us a second chance to get right. And if God can give me a second chance, then I can, at least I can do is give myself a second chance to believe that things can get better, things will get better, even if I don't have it figured out. I don't always, you don't always have to have it figured out. You don't. I want you to know that. You don't always have to have it figured out. It's okay just to have a plan. Just to have a plan. You may not know how the plan's gonna work. You may have an idea about how it's gonna work, but you may not even be sure, and that's okay. Even if you had a plan and you had no idea if it would work, whatever the plan is, right? At least you have a plan, and it's okay not to have it figured out. But be grateful for where you are. Be grateful for how you think. Be grateful. Be appreciative. Be understanding. Be acknowledging about your present moment in life. And then just let God take it from there. That's my two cents on gratefulness. I hope this helped you. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. Thank you for tuning in and watching. And I'll talk to you next time.